Background of the study in research. Definition and the core elements it contains. Before we embark on a detailed discussion on how to write the background of the study of your proposed research or thesis, it is important to first discuss its meaning and the core elements that it should contain. This is obviously because understanding the nature of the background of the study in research and knowing exactly what to include in it allow us to have both greater control and clear direction of the writing process. So, what really is the background of the study? And what are the core elements that it should contain? The background of the study, which usually forms the first section of the introduction to a research paper or thesis, provides the overview of the study. In other words, it is that section of the research paper or thesis that establishes the context of the study. Its main function is to explain why the proposed research is important and essential to understanding the main aspects of the study. The background of the study, therefore, is the section of the research paper or thesis that identifies the problem or gap of the study that needs to be addressed and justifies the need for conducting the study. It articulates the main goal of the study and the thesis statement, that is, the main claim or argument of the paper. Given this brief understanding of the background of the study, we can anticipate what readers or thesis committee members expect from it. As we can see, the background of the study should contain the following major points. A brief discussion on what is known about the topic under investigation. An articulation of the research gap or problem that needs to be addressed what the researcher would like to do or aim to achieve in the study, or the research goal. The thesis statement, that is, the main argument or contention of the paper, which also serves as the reason why the researcher would want to pursue the study. The major significance or contribution of the study to a particular discipline. And lastly, depending on the nature of the study, an articulation of the hypothesis of the study. Thus, when writing the background of the study, you should plan and structure it based on the major points just mentioned. With this, you will have a clear picture of the flow of the tasks that need to be completed in writing this section of your research or thesis proposal. Now, how do you go about writing the background of the study in your proposed research or thesis? The next lesson will address this question.